For cheap and reliable MT, head over to AOA.com and use coupon code JACOB for 3% off. What is going down everybody? It's Unbeatable Jacob, and today I am starting a new series called One Man Army, where we will be going into Triple Threat Online using one player to score all 21 points. For Episode 1, I thought it would be fitting to go with the XP reward for Season 2, my favorite team's best player, none other than Pink Diamond, BG32, Blake Griffin. This one's going to be a little bit easy to be honest with you, Blake's one of the best cards in the game, so if any of you guys have a certain player that might be a little bit of a challenge, leave it in the comments below and I'll feature them on one of the future One Man Army episodes. But for now, we're getting an early start here with Blake, he can kind of do it all on the floor, which makes this a little bit easier for me. If you have a certain type of player that can only do one thing out there, like post up or just a guy that strictly shoots, it makes it pretty difficult because by the end of the game your opponent has it all figured out, they know exactly what you're trying to do. But when you got a guy like Blake, you can take it to the rack, you can step back and take threes, and that's exactly what I'm doing here. Off of this rebound, get him a full head of steam, see the lane, but we don't want it. We're going to size up and green that baby. On next gen, it's actually pretty easy to shoot. A player like Blake, I mean, it's weird. Anything you shoot is pretty much going to go in. You're either going to green it, and even if you do shoot a white, they're still going to drop. So I'm not sure if they're going to get around to patching that next gen, or if they're just going to let players shoot like everybody is Kyle Korver out there or what. But right now, it is incredibly easy to shoot on next gen. I mean, you don't even really need to know a player's jump shot because whites are going in at such a high rate. I really don't know what it's going to do for the game. By the end of the year, when they come out with these Galaxy Opals and Dark Matter cards, the game is going to be in a sorry state when every player is just clipping at 80%, 90% from three. But for now, from a non-competitive standpoint, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of fun. But Blake's really fun, man. If you guys haven't got him yet, I would go ahead and try and finish up this grind. With the new draft cards, it's pretty easy to pick up this XP grind now. If you're sitting there at like 100k, you could definitely still have a pretty good chance of getting them. And he can really just do it all, man. I don't know if he's quite as good as Curry, but he's super, super solid. Right now, we got 17 points up with Blake. It's going pretty well. This one, not gonna lie to you, was kind of a breeze. So towards the end of the game here, I figured why not show off. We take it to the rack and we throw it down, jumping over top of Danny Manning. That has to be single-handedly the most disrespectful dunk I have put down in Next Gen 2K. But right now, we're just gonna close it out with one more poster. Blake out here catching bodies. Easy 21 points. One Man Army Episode 1 is complete. If you guys have another player that you want me to do for the next episode, drop them in the comments like I said. If you guys get a really kind of iffy one, I might not do it, but as long as uh, it's reasonable, somebody I think I have a realistic chance of completing, I will go ahead and attempt it for you all. I appreciate it a whole lot, guys. If you haven't, follow my Twitch. Link is in the description. Live almost every day. Once again, take care, and I appreciate it.